Greetings gamers and welcome to another laser corn channel video today I'm doing a brand new show and I'm calling it calling it that didn't that didn't really make sense So the name of the show is calling it so I'm calling the show you get it You get it the show is called calling it and I'm gonna make five predictions about a game that is not out yet today's game Mortal Kombat 11 now will these predictions be right? I, I don't know uh, probably not Probably not, I'm not a psychic, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. I'm gonna try to predict five things about Mortal Kombat 11. We're gonna stick to the, the story mode here. And let's start off easy, I think. I think this is a pretty fairly easy one. It's not a huge plot point or anything. I think that old Johnny Cage is gonna hit on young Sonya, which is going to then piss off old Sonya. Because if you think about it, it's the kind of thing Johnny Cage would do, and it's easy, it's easy to defend that action, because it's like, what, it's a compliment. I'm hitting on you, just younger you. I just, I really like that body, which is you. It's just, you know, it's a younger version of you. I don't know if he's gonna be able to talk his way out of it with Sonya. She's kind of a no-nonsense character. She's voiced by Ronda Rousey. I think he might get hit in the nuts. I, it's even possible that the two Sonyas from uh, past and, and future double team and, and kick his ass. Uh, so you might be seeing that. I mean, you know, within reason, just enough to let him know that it's not okay. Uh, so I'm thinking we're gonna see that at some point in the story when the characters start meeting. Now before we go any further, I do want to shout out Cove for sending me this awesome Bluetooth speaker and for sponsoring this video, helping fund the content you guys love. This thing is amazing, the sound is great, it's water resistant, you can control it via Bluetooth from your computer, your laptop, I've been doing it from my phone, I've been using it to get the creative juices flowing, and when you're making a Mortal Kombat video, what do you gotta listen to to get the creative juices flowing? Uh, maybe this song right here. I'll turn on the, uh, the X bass feature so you guys can hear it. Just switch the mode here, and then the bass hits a little harder. I love this thing, it's very cool. And right now, you can get 65% off this thing. I've got a code, I'm gonna pop it on screen. It's gonna be a link in the description, there'll also be a link to the site where you can go and buy it. And you absolutely should, if you have any space where you need to jam out and listen to some great music, uh, this is the device to play that music on. All right, let's get back into the video. For prediction number four, I think we're gonna see a fan favorite. I think we're gonna see Young Goro. Now, Young Goro has not been confirmed, and in fact, no Goro has been confirmed, unless you count, and spoilers, I guess, if you haven't, if you're not watching uh, the trailers and the footage that the company is putting out, this might be a spoiler, but they're putting it out there. So it's kind of like saying that something you see in a movie trailer is a spoiler. I'm gonna talk about it, but you know, it's already out there. So in Goro's lair, you see dead Goro. He's just kind of, uh, He's just kind of rotting on the on the throne back there. You can also see Moloch is dead there. I know a lot of fans are going to be sad about that, but his death always seems to be like a throwaway thing anyway. So obviously, I don't think we're going to see old Goro because old Goro is dead. But I think maybe young Goro will come back, see what has happened to old Goro, see how he dies, see that he's just sitting on the throne there rotting in the lair where he was kept, and maybe he's going to get pissed about it. Maybe he'll be like, Shang Tsung, you know, I, I was your champion for all these years, and this is where it got me, and now I'm going to kill you. Maybe he goes after Shang Tsung, because we know Shang Tsung is back. That would be that would be an interesting story point, an interesting showdown I would like to see. All right, moving right along. Prediction number three. I'm going to say, I'm going to say young Liu Kang kills old Liu Kang. It's a crazy way for Liu Kang to die, but you know, old Liu Kang, he's corrupted, he's leading those outworld forces, and he needs to die. And who better to take him out than young him? He's pretty much everything that the young Liu Kang stood against, and you could even see in one of the trailers, you see Kung Lao talking to him about how our future is crazy, and I think, uh, I think at that point, he's, the, the seeds are being sown that their older versions, their future versions of themselves, need to be taken out, and I think there's only one man who can take out Liu Kang, and that's Liu Kang. So I'm hoping to see that showdown happen in the story. They've already shown past and future versions of themselves fighting, so they don't have that weird rule. I think it was in Back to the Future, it was introduced where if your past self touches your future self, you, it creates a wormhole and destroys the whole world or something. But that's not gonna happen in Mortal Kombat 11, because they're gonna they're gonna throw down. I'm especially excited to see young Johnny fight old Johnny, because uh, cause their back and forth is great. And this one's just a gut feeling. It's a real gut feeling. I don't have a lot backing it up, but I'm gonna say Garrus betrays Kronika. Kronika is kind of set up to be the big bad, the main villain, who's been orchestrating all these events so that the timeline goes her way. Uh, but Garrus is another, uh, is a minion of hers that also seems to have power over time. 
and I don't know what it is, but I'm just getting a weird, there can only be one vibe from this. Like, they're, they're both uh, time-based characters. I feel like Garrus, if he has any sort of free will or anything, it's gonna be like, I should be the one controlling the timeline. I don't know that this is gonna happen, like I said, like I said, I'm just taking shots in the dark here. You know, we've seen this kind of Master and Padawan thing, going all the way back to Shang Tsung and Goro, you get you get the big bad guys in too. And this time around, I'm just feeling, I feel a betrayal coming. I just feel like they're too similar for Garrus to just be like, I'm okay with another time manipulating person being above me. He, he looks like a big bad dude that's ready to, to take the throne. And maybe, uh, maybe his betrayal gets shut down and he just gets slapped uh, into into non-existence, into grains of sand. Or maybe he gets uh, he gets sand-manded like Spider-Man does to him and she just hits him with a blast of water and just dissolves him or something. Just something about this pairing of these two feels like we could see a shakeup. we could see a twist coming down the line. So be ready for it and remember if it does happen, Laserkorn called it. And number one, uh, man, we do actually have some evidence for this one. This one is not just a gut feeling. You saw in the trailer, Raiden's looking a little, a little evil. He's torturing Shinnok there, he's telling him his fate's worse than death. These are not lines you normally hear coming from the good guys, the heroes. So I'm not sure how exactly his descent to full-on villain will go. Maybe he fights Kronika, steals her power. Now with this newfound power, I'm done with Outworld. I'm done with it. I'm sick of them messing with Earthrealm. I'm Earthrealm is team number one, America. I'm destroying all of Outworld. And maybe the other good guys are like, that's too far. That's too far. You don't want to destroy an entire realm. And he's like, don't tell me what to do. I'm Red Raiden. I'm a god. And I'm going to blow up Outworld. All of it. And then maybe the good guys have to take him down or talk him down or something or stop him from going full on insane crazy mode and just destroying an entire realm. I don't know who it would be that's gonna stop him, that's gonna shut him down. I I would say like a Liu Kang character, but I already predicted that he's going to kill his future self, so that's kind of his big story arc. I don't know. Maybe maybe they let Johnny Cage do it. Maybe or maybe Cassie Cage takes center stage and is like, I'm Cassie Cage, I'm the new main hero, I'm taking down Raiden, even though uh, as far as power levels go, she's not really there. She's not really there. I don't know. I don't know who it's gonna be that challenges him. I just feel like Something about it feels like he's gonna go full evil. Big plot twist, he is now the big bad. Uh, I could be totally wrong. Could be totes wrong. Uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see when the game comes out. I do, I am excited to get in there and play through all the story mode. So we'll see what happens. So that's it everyone, those are my predictions for what's going to happen in Mortal Kombat 11. But I wanna hear your predictions. What do you think is gonna happen in this brand new installment of Mortal Kombat? It's pretty crazy. There's, there's a ton of possibilities thanks to the time travel aspect. Really anything could happen. So put your craziest theories in there. Don't hold back, leave them right in the comments because I wanna hear them, I wanna read them. Uh, I, I normally don't go in for fan fiction, but this kind of stuff I like because it's uh, it just adds fuel, helps you get hyped for the game. All right, that is it. Uh, big thanks again to Cove for sponsoring this video, and I will see you all next time.